Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Victoria 2 Divergence of Darkness. So this is a very alternative history mod, and I'm going to show you in just a second how alternative this is. Now, the eagle-eyed viewer may be able to notice some of the borders here. I also do have to say, I do wish there was um, more reason to use the natural map mode. It, it just looks so goddamn nice. Anyway, right, so this is Divergence of Darkness. Hello and welcome to our alternate history. So it seems like um, the English won the Hundred Years' War and united the kingdoms of England and France. Uh, though we do have um, a Scandinavian Union over here that does have control of Scotland, Iceland, Greenland. So pretty damn good. Also, they have uh, Estonia, yeah, and uh, northern coast of Germany, Denmark, that sort of thing. So, very powerful union there. So, if you take a look at the great powers, we have uh, Bohemia, we have the dual monarchy, Burgundy, Spain, Aragon, uh, the Ottoman Empire, technically. Yep, Scandinavia, Bohemia, Spain, the Ottoman Empire, Aragon, Gran Colombia. Now, Gran Colombia is indeed grand. And they do start at war with Spain, which is interesting. So, I should have read up on the actual background of this mod, but it does seem really interesting. It's all cool in the fact that there's a couple of nations that can be formed that are very interesting. But I like the fact that there's a lot of nations that have to fight to form. It's interesting. It's a lot like playing EU4, but with the Victoria 2 mechanics in a way. Right, to so the right of man, well, no, yes, actually, I suppose I am going to need that, um, prestige. Now, what do I want? Hmm. Muzzle-loaded rifles would be quite nice. And I should sign out to Steam, I always forget, apologies. There we go. Now, army consumption, yep. Yeah. Here we go, that's good. The... Uh, discipline is always good. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought then, just for a second. Light Cavalry. Maneuver 2. Right, we'll go for some Light Cavalry then. That should help out for sieges. There we go. We're also going to build a little bit of a navy. And uh, free frigates. Um, yeah, free frigates. Six frigates, if we can afford it. Right. We also need to sort out the budget. Taxes. Taxes for all. There we go. Actually, I should keep that high. We are a small nation. We are the small nation of Provence. Though we do have some very, very interesting... Uh, ...possibilities here. Namely, we can restore rule over Italy and France. So we could create a united, well, French-Italian monarchy, a kingdom. Now that would be incredibly powerful, and I do really want to see that. That's going to be really cool. Right on. Put that speed up there. Ah, oh, we do have a few generals, so that's good news. Organization. He's actually... I like this guy. He's actually pretty damn good. Speed, attrition, experience, organization, morale, a little bit of defense. Uh, <clears throat> all very good traits to have. Right, so we do have a factory in the province here, but it's really bloody awful. And uh, we do have the monarchists in power. Uh, we do need... Right, can I build a factory here? I can't build them, but I can expand them. I need somebody who can build factories. Yep, the National Democratic Party will do. They are pro-military. Uh, That's helpful. Right, so we'll build a new factory. Um, hmm. Right, we have silk. Hmm. I'll try the Luxury Clothes Factory. We do have silk. I don't think there's really much silk around. There's a decent amount in Italy. There's a good amount in Savoy, actually. If I was able to take Savoy, that'd be incredibly good. 
Right, 541,000 people there. Uh, though they are two states, so I would not be able to conquer them in a single war. Right, so, uh, we need to see who we are under the influence of. That would be the Kingdom of Aragorn. So, gonna ally. There we go. Make friends. Um, I could do with starting to influence my way to another potential ally. Um, so yes, I think this is a French, uh, French America. We have the Seven Republics over here. I'm not entirely sure who they are. Vinland, uh, we can guess who that one is. Uh, Venice, uh, Venetian, uh, Venetian Florida. Japanese Alaska. Yeah. I think this is like an English Argentina. Africa is very interesting. And horrific. Ranjanagar. The Mughal Empire. That could be quite interesting to play as. Burgundy. It's fighting Java. I'm not gonna lie, that's uh, that's a really good move. That's actually a lot of population there. And Australia is actually uncolonized, actually, besides the civilized nation. Which is really cool. Hmm. New Guinea, Scandinavia, Tondo, the Japanese Empire, at war with the Queen Empire and Korea. Yeah, good luck with that one. Muscovy. So it's a very interesting world. There's definitely a lot of divergence. They weren't kidding. Right, we're building some frigates. And uh, we aren't really making much cash. Put those taxes up a little bit higher. That might help. Ideally, we need a factory that can actually be of use. That would be good. I'm going to put military spending down. I can't really afford much. My budget is really, really tight. I do have a good uh, working population. It's just the fact I need to have a factory that can make cash. So I might just go with a... Liquor factory should not work out. Okay. So that has hurt our rating quite significantly. And uh, we do have the potential to be a... Ah, right. The restoration of order in Etruria. The Republic of Etruria is a threat to the Italian order. While Aragon is reluctant to go to war against them, we have forgotten our rights... Uh, we haven't forgotten our rights to the Grand Duchy of Tuscany. So basically, we're the uh, remnants of the French monarchy. The Volley. De Volley? Um, monarchs of North Italy would not react to this declaration because it would raise a threat to their personal power, but Aragon would be angered by a demonstration of force. What do we choose? We choose war. Right, I'm going to grab that. Mobilize. I'm also going to put uh, spending down on basically everything. I can't really afford it. Right, I'll leave um, the administration up there. The higher administration gets, the more cash we'll make anyway. Right, there we go. I only have one frigate. Make landfall. Can I pick up out of a troop here? Right, so we'll have military plans in just a moment. That's going to give us, um, hopefully, a little bit more of an advantage. Da 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 da. I do need to have a good military, a very good military. Right, there we go, we're taking that province. Let them recover. There we go. Right, I need to be able to siege down these provinces faster than they can, well, take them back. Uh, which I am doing, which is good news. Right, take Siena. So the good news is, in uh, the time it takes for them to get one province, I've practically sieged down two provinces. Which is good news. 
A rebel attack them here. Yep, there we go. They only have infantry. Not exactly the best. Hmm. I'll take a little bit of militancy though. Uh, so we'll take Florence, the capital. So Troria, 433,000 people. Well, adult males. That's going to really make a huge difference to my budget and to my power. Ah. Ah, that's what I want. Discipline's really fantastic. Okay, are they offering peace? They are off in peace. There we go. So that was a quickly persecuted war. Right, preeminence at Etruria. We'll just put this in a moment. There we go. Right, so now we're making a lot of cash. I'll have my education on... Hmm. Okay, I'll put that up there. Da 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 da. Da 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 Red D mobilize. Uh, for infantry, we need some more artillery. It's not too good right now, but it will get better rather soon. Or at least with research it will. Right, is that factory making a good amount of cash or... Oh, hmm, meh. Not so much. But it is employing people, so I will go for that. Right, let's improve my relations with Aragon. Try and keep them high. I could do with a little bit of a larger navy. Then again, I don't want to be spending too much on naval. Uh, so if I build a naval base here... Ooh, I'll take the research points actually. If we can get the iron loaded, well, iron muzzle loaded cannons, that will be good. Uh, yep, more morale, more discipline there. So, artillery one attack. Yeah, really not much there. So, support that we like. Okay, they gain some more support. Army professionalism. That's what I like. Right, let's try preeminence in Etruria. Okay. The Liberal Republic of Etruria has been reduced to ashes, with the king in France reclaiming his inheritance of Tuscany. But the Duchy of Lucca has not accepted our renewed role in the area, proclaiming uh, being freed from any feudal links towards us. While it is an obscure claim, we could always press it to strengthen our rule in Italy. We shall try. Right. So they said no. Damn. Um, so we could push the war, and that could lead to war with basically everyone around us, or we could, um, allow it and lose 20 prestige. Well, I don't exactly have much of a choice. We'll have to take the prestige hit. Yeah. It's not hit us too hard. Do I... I don't want to do it again, just... yeah, not yet. Now then... So the dual monarchy has claimed Genoa. If I could conquer somebody in the area, that'd be great. I'll keep improving my relations with um, Aragon. Hmm. Okay. So we do have sulfur, which is something that's going for us. Ooh, gold over here would be fantastic. Alright, that coal is so goddamn valuable. I really want that coal. Uh, there's coal over here, actually. Mm, but hardly anybody working that RJ. Okay. Uh, we'll focus on trying to become a great power. Or at least a good power. A second rate power. Either or. Whichever comes first. Um, I think I'll fortify my lands then. 
build these fortresses. At least that'll make it a little bit harder for the enemy to take them, should we end up in a war. Now I'm keeping my um, army in Acharya, basically Tuscany, due to the fact of uh, possibility of nationalists. Yeah, Turian Liberation Movement. Ah, Exhibition. Yep, sure thing. Right, the First Minister. Hmm. Ivory Tower Intellectual. Now that's pretty damn cool. A Royal Wedding. Huh. Uh, so we are getting some more research points, which is actually really, really good. Not even kidding you how good that is. Right, so clergyman is growing over here. We'll get that to about four, then we can focus on other things. Uh, but so far, so good. This is a fairly good start, actually. Right, iron artillery factory. And artillery. Hmm. Military hospital, tactics, yep, there we go, 12 pounders. Fantastic. Uh, medicine, yep, there we go. Increase the population growth. So, artillery now has one attack. Um, that defense, sorry, that support is 325% low. Discipline 120, maneuver 3, obviously. Uh, speed is really slow. Oh, Palmer. Well, hello there, Palmer. Yes, thank you very much. I'd love an alliance. That's really, 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 really good. Right. Do we run the risk? I'll keep improving my relations with Aragon. I don't want them to abandon us should we need them. Um. Maybe if we have good relations, they may <clears throat> recognize our right to rule. I'd love to take Medina. Yeah, that's really not making any cash. Okay, I'll build a liquor factory. It's not going to be really efficient, but hey, it might make some cash. Interventionism. Okay. To war by Jingo. I mean, this is not bad. We could build a liquor distillery over here. That's a certain. So I'll start that. I mean, yeah. If we build the basics of what our population actually needs, then we'll be good to go. Oh, I hate these uh, election events. It's so annoying. I just keep improving these relations. And there we go, 110. That's a lot better. Regina's private matter. Hmm. <clears throat> I will get above a hundred, then I might try again. 125. Ideally, Ferreira would fall out of, well, favour with the Aragonese. Or just someone in general. I mean, if I could take the Papal States, that'd be incredibly good. But right, we have a naval base, so we can support a few more ships now. Mm, still not enough, but it's better than it was before. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this factory here. There we go. Hopefully that should start to make some cash. Ah, sugar refinery. Hmm. Interesting. Right, make me cash. It's... Kinda. Right, we need bronze. Ooh. Very warlike. 
Right, it's about to get the medicine. Yep, there we go. Military hospital. Um. Huh. Right, late classical theory. I do like the fact that the um, researchers do different things. That's pretty cool. Right, we'll try preeminence. I should just go to war. That's cost me quite a lot in prestige. That's going to be really difficult to get back. Right, we'll justify... I could make them into a puppet. Not really worth it, is it? Oh, that was quite a bit of prestige, though. Okay. Um, ideally, the dual monarchy would end up in a bad war with Burgundy or something like that, so we could strike back and uh, regain our cause over here. That'd be sweet. There's a lot of population here. With some nice RGOs. A lot of population there. It's my cause as well, so we wouldn't have to worry about anything. God damn, I want that. Okay, fort has been built. Yeah, bugger that decision. Dun 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 Fine, I'll try to make you my puppet. If I can make you my puppet, that still counts as controlling them. At least I'm not having to worry about um, them rebelling against me. I mean, we do have claims on Italy, which is pretty cool. Which is going to mean that we are going to end up in an inevitable war against Aragorn. Right, we could do with railroads. But goddamn, the dual monarchy is definitely bloody powerful. Oh, God. Like the power of Britain there. With the majority of France. Uh, they don't have Scotland, but I'm sure they could get that. Right, Scandinavia's fighting. Ooh, the Commonwealth and Bohemia. Well, good luck with that one. Don't envy you. Do not envy you. Well, they fight in Venice, too. So Venice is actually quite cool. Oh, they're fighting the Ottoman Empire. Okay, interesting. And Venice has quite a lot of uh, colonies around. Yeah. Good few colonies. They could be fairly interesting to play as. I just love the alternate history. I think it really, really adds to the game. It's something so different, but um, I suppose it could be plausible in a way, but everything could be plausible in a way. Oh, well... <sighs> Motion carries. What do the people want? Ooh, more population growth there. Yep, having our population boom like this is going to be fantastic for us. We'll be able to support more soldiers. Um, I might actually put the military spending up there. Good news. Right, oh god, that's got a little bit high there. So I'll take that off. Um, I'll focus on... I guess clerks. And there we go. I mean, our population is educated, so they should promote to different, um, pops fairly easily. Yeah. 
Having some cloaks would be good. Lovely. Mm hmm. Right, idealism. And so we are regaining our place among the nations. Oh god, I need to go to war, don't I? Right. You are allied with no one. You are neutral with all the great powers. So I have a free hand. I'll call Palmer. Oh, I actually don't even need to call Palmer. I was going to call Palmer to increase relations, but it's not even needed. I'm the Navy. There we go. We won the battle. And we shall win the war. Ideally, if I can take... Medina and Genoa, you know, I could link up the nation. That would be good. Okay, and... Yep, there we go. So our power is growing. Hmm. So I wonder if you could play Austria and create the Austrian Empire. I imagine that would be bloody difficult. I mean, Prussia is here. Oh no, that's not... Oh, wow, Prussia's gone. Uh, that was Prussia. Pomerania. Has broken free. Yeah, the Scandinavian Union really kind of had its hand to it. Oh, so it's a, uh, it's a Kalmar union, but basically never ended. Okay, wow. Congress of Adigoya. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> That's a little ridiculous. It did not take them long to uh, rebel, did it? Okay. You got them right. Now, I wonder if I did the decision, would they actually be able to refuse? I'm going to save just in case. I don't want to take a load of, um, crap. I, yeah, okay. Hmm. Ah, it's not a puppet. Right, I'll gain some more liberalism. Ah, uh, was not a good idea for them. Okay. Huh. Grand Columbia. I'd like to play as them. They are so huge. What's the population? The population is actually rather low, though. But they will have some incredibly good RGOs, I'd imagine. Yeah, they got, like, um... Some coal. They got some coal. That would be coffee. That's a lot of coffee. A lot of cash. Sugar? Fruit. Fish. Is this iron? Yep, they got a good amount of iron. Yeah. So they have all the Arjos there. They just need the population, but they can grow. I just love Venetian Florida. That is so cool. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming close to the end of the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you have, do let me know down in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I will put the link to the mod down there somewhere. I hope you guys have fun with it too. And I still with these dirt bags. Okay. Get these troops over here. 
Until next time.